hello everyone welcome in my channel esp.net core today i am going to show you the next video tutorial of many to many relationship in esp.net core so just create a new project uh, in visual studio uh, 2019 uh, i have and uh, uh, so the first thing uh, to uh, do uh, in the project that is the model so you know we have three models that is the post and uh, the tags and the middle table is that is the post tag so the first uh, table that is post in which you can add some properties like the post id post title post description similarly you can uh, you can do with the same thing uh, in the tag uh, table so add a new uh, item that is the tag uh, class and uh, in which you can add the property that is tag title that is tag id and tag title and uh, that's it now uh, also create a middle table that is the post tag table and uh, in the post tag table you can add uh, two properties only post id and the tag id also uh, create a relationship between the post and the tags so uh, only uh, post tag have single relationship with the post and uh, also single relationship with the tag so that is the relationship and the tag have multiple post tags so list of post tags and uh, also post have multiple post tags so uh, so you can set that this thing now uh, in the post uh, class we have multiple post tags so post tag list of post tag and post tags okay that's fine now after creating the model you can add uh, interfaces so now create a new folder that is interface folder and in which uh, you can add uh, three interfaces actually uh, the first interface is related to the post and second related to the tags and the third related to the unit of work and in the unit of work uh, the co uh, actually collection of the both uh, tag and the post so the first interface uh, have uh, some methods uh, unimplemented method that is the get all get by id insert update and delete that is you mean that you can say that is the curd operations okay so uh, this is the simple scenario of uh, all the projects uh, all uh, uh, methods are needed in any other projects okay so this is the curd operations uh, between the post and the tags so must to add uh, these methods in the post interface so that's fine now also the same methods uh, you can add in the i tag uh, interface so just copy uh, and paste in the tag section and replace tag with a uh, post with the tags so just uh, add it here post and replace with the tag that's fine now the small uh, changes in uh, appears uh, you can make some changes like uh, uh, local parameter uh, you uh, you can set with the small letters okay also add a new item with the i unit of uh, unit of work you can say i unit of work uh, interface in which you can add uh, two properties for the uh, post and the tags and the one method you can add that is the save i mean to say that uh, i want to mm, make some changes in the uh, context so you can add save method in the i unit of work interface okay that's fine now the interface is clear now after that you can add the new uh, folder for the repositories so add repositories okay so also uh, you can add uh, three classes in the repositories folder the first class is related to the post that is implemented with the i post interface and the second class is related to the tag that is uh, implemented by the i tag and the third class is related to the unit of work so also that class is implemented with the unit of i unit of work okay so just use control dot so use control dot and resolve your unimplementation methods uh, unimplementation queries so uh, here we have a unit of work repo and that is uh, 
unimplemented so implement it with uh, i unit of work okay so now add another folder that is the data folder and in which folder you can add your context class and the context class name is many to many context okay so uh, many to many context uh, is uh, actually inherited with the db context class so db context uh, is uh, added in the entity framework core so add a new constructor that is many to many context and in which you can add uh, or you can say initial uh, add parameters that is db context options options and you can uh, call the base class uh, with the options okay uh, also add db set uh, with the post and the tags uh, so that public property is used to communicate with the with your code and that uh, only that uh, uh, public property is used to uh, perform some operations uh, on the database tables so use the context class and use these properties and make uh, some changes in the database okay so uh, the another method you can add in the context that is own model creating with the one parameter that is model bind uh, model builder and by using the model builder you can set as the entities uh, or you can set uh, some uh, composite keys uh, in the middle table so set some composite key in the middle table that is the first thing model builder dot entity post tag has key what is the has key i mean to say that only one key that is the composite key so post id dot uh, post id and the tag id both are the composite key in the middle table also set some rules in the for your uh, for your middle table that means to say uh, when i delete the post then uh, that means the uh, in the middle table post uh, post related uh, post id is also deleted so uh, here we have model builder dot entity post tag and has one i mean to say that only uh, primary key that is the uh post and the with many post tags and has foreign key that is the relationship between the post and the post tag middle table with the post id so when you delete any post then related uh, entities uh, related entries in the post tag table also deleted and also when you delete any tags uh, mm, from the tag table then also deleted from uh, tags from the post tags table okay done uh, after that you can uh, make some changes in the repositories like uh, you can add uh, my context class sorry many to many context class in the post repository and uh, um, also add some uh, functionalities in the delete uh, get all functions get by id function insert methods or you can say implement uh, the all functions so uh, here we have a context post uh, context dot post dot to list method by using this uh, get all the uh, all the post from the database table get by id uh, return context dot post dot first uh, first or default x dot id is double equals to id i mean to say that only one post you can retrieve uh, by the insert method you can add a single post at a time so context dot post dot add post and in the update method you can add context dot post dot update the one post in the post table okay in the delete uh, method you can delete context dot posts dot remove the single post okay so uh, the same thing you can do in, uh, with the tag table so tag repository so here we have a tag repository and you can add your context that is the many to many context and uh, add that context or you can say initialize that context in the tag repository constructor that is there and uh, add some methods or you can say add some codes in the delete uh, uh, methods okay uh, by using get all you can retrieve all the tags from the database table so return a list of tags get by id and to say that return uh, only 
single tag from the database table so context dot tags dot first dot default x dot post tag uh, dot id is double equals to id and insert uh, you can add context dot uh, tags dot add tag only one tag at a time you can insert in the database table so update uh, context dot tags dot update that is tag that's fine also tag uh, repository is uh, implemented now after that you can uh, add some code in the list uh, unit of work repository so so now after that you can uh, do some uh, code in the unit of work repository that is many to many context and add a context or you can say initialize your context in the many to many uh, unit of work repository so also add i post uh, private property uh, by using the private property you can return uh, in the public property also so post repo i tag repo mm, i tag repository tag repo in the public property oops in the public property you can return your private properties so just implement it uh, with the get uh, property so return uh, underscore post repo equals to underscore post repo if both are if post repo is null then uh, initialize your uh, post repo with the context okay the same thing you can do with the tag so just uh, add some code in the get section in the tag section so return uh, tag repo underscore tag repo and new uh, post repo it's not a post repo actually that is the tag repository so you can add a tag repo so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and many to many relationship if you want to learn many more things about asp.net core please subscribe my channel don't forget and uh, also press the bell icons for get notifications so thank you very much for watching this video